Today I have a Cricut project to share with you using Cricut's infusible ink, pens, and markers. So if you've never seen these before, they are markers that have ink in them that you are heat activated. So just like the infusible ink sheets that Cricut has, these will iron on and transfer to the different Cricut blanks. So Cricut has onesies, shirts, um, and coasters. I think they might have some bags, I'm not sure, um, but I'll leave a link to all of those in the description so that you can have a list of all the different options. But today I'm showing you how to make these cute houseplant coasters. I don't know about you, but I am obsessed with my houseplants. And when I saw these houseplant designs on the Cricut Access, I knew that I needed to make something cute with them. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you step-by-step how to make these adorable houseplant coasters. I'm gonna be using these square coasters. They're corked back coaster. It's um, made by Cricut for the infusible ink. I've got an infusible ink marker, and so that's the 1.0 size. And then I've got infusible ink pen, which is the point four size um, in black. Uh, you'll also need a lint-free cloth. I'm gonna be using my light grip mat and you're supposed to be using laser copy paper, which is actually pretty expensive, but I've done this before with just regular inkjet printer paper and it worked out fine. So I'm gonna be using the inkjet printer paper, a piece of cardstock. Um, I'm also using some parchment paper. I've got my Cricut, of course. I'm using a Cricut maker. And then I have my Easy Press and the mat that goes with it. So to start out, take your light grip mat and put your piece of printer paper on it. Smooth that down. Make sure that your black fine tip pen is loaded in the pen holder, press that down in, and then have your regular blade over in the slot B. All right, so when you are in Cricut Design Space, these plants, um, there's all these ones over here that I didn't use, but you can search for them by the type of plant that they are. So go to images and just type like rubber plant and then they should come up. And then when you go back to your canvas, see these ones are green. They're actually meant to be drawn with a pen and then also cut out. And because I just want them to be drawn with a pen, you can click on it and then come up here to the top and just change it to pen. And then it will take out that color and then you'll only be left with the drawn lines. For the coaster, I made a square that's 3.75 inches by 3.75 inches. Um, and then each of the plants I just made sure that it fit nicely on there and then you'll want to click and drag to select both of them and then Center the plant on there and then once you've done that go ahead and go over here to attach and that will keep them together so that you have your cut line and your draw line and you'll see why this square is important later um, if you're doing a circle coaster obviously you'll want to use a circle instead do that with all of the plant coasters that you want to do. Since I'm not making these ones, I'll go ahead and get rid of those for now. And then you should have your three ready and click on make it. Make sure that you click this button over here to mirror it before you send it to be cut. And go ahead and load that up and send it through by pressing the Cricut button. Okay, now that that's done cutting, I'm gonna go ahead and take my pen out, make sure that I put the lid back on so it doesn't dry out. Unload that, and since I cut them into little squares, I can take off the extra, and then very carefully remove each of my squares. And so you can see what those look like. And now since I want these to have color, I'm going to take my infusible ink markers and color in just the top parts. 
Um, you could also do this with the pens, but it would definitely take you a lot longer. And I believe this will come out a lighter and brighter color once I um, actually do the uh, heat transfer to my coasters. Okay, I have got those all colored in now. And something I was thinking of when I was coloring these is that if you were an artist, you could have a lot of fun with these infusible ink pens. But I'm getting ready to do our ink transfer. I've got my Easy Press here. I'm gonna heat it to 300 degrees and um, set the timer for 60 seconds. So it's quite a lot of heat that we're gonna be putting on this. Make sure you're doing this in a well-ventilated area. And I'm gonna be covering my mat with freezer paper to protect it. Um, the instructions also say that you can just use butcher paper, but this is what I have on hand. Take your lint free cloth and wipe off your coaster. This could be like a glasses wipe or something like that, um, just to get any lint off. Now I'm gonna take my design and place it face down on top of my coaster. And the reason that I cut these squares out like this is because I wanted to make sure that the paper was covering the entire coaster. I did this before where I just cut out only the plant and the words. And then after I um, transferred it, you could see the lines or the marks from where I cut it out. So we wanted to make sure that this went around the whole thing. And another thing that this makes it so much easier for, I'm gonna turn it over and I know that my design is center on this paper and then I can center the coaster on the paper. And then I forgot to mention this in the supply list, but this comes in very handy. This is Cricut's heat resistant tape and I'm going to use a little bit of this to hold my paper in place. And then you also wanna make sure that the tape is not going over any of your image area. And then take your cardstock, or it says that you can use four layers of butcher paper. I've got cardstock that's big enough. This is just to protect the area because there's a lot of heat going on. And then take your Easy Press, place it, on and you don't want to put any pressure on it and just let that go for 60 seconds. Okay, now slowly remove the heat press and you can see maybe you can't, my paper yellowed a little bit so that's why we have that there. Carefully remove the paper and you can see some of the ink came through. And then you wanna let this cool completely because it is going to be very hot. So let that cool completely and then we're gonna peel it off to see what it looks like. Okay, and once that's cooled, we will take off the design very carefully. And look at that, so cute. I love how that transferred. And I'm gonna make a couple more using this same method. So that is it, a super fun and easy project using Cricut's infusible ink pens and markers. Let me know if you have any questions about using those and I will do my best to answer them. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and head to my blog cutesycrafts.com for more fun craft ideas.